so happy I didn't have to wear a wedding dress in this movie. <laughs> Nikki, you have directed many strong women at the center of stories before, but for this, I mean, you needed someone who was, yes, physically strong, but also really mentally strong. Why was Jennifer the right person to take on such a powerful role like this? I mean, it's obvious, right? All the her legendary skill and precision as, as a dancer and dramatic performer, I knew that the action sequences would be totally taken care of. But but I was also really interested in working with Jennifer as a dramatic actress because she is so, so good. And and so it was holding those two things in balance in, in a movie of this scale and complexity, but but also, and also, <laughs> she's such a fiercely maternal human being, right? You, you are. <laughs> yes. Well, she's right up there as a kind of, a, a luminescent, uh, wonderful actress uh, who who has an extraordinary work ethic and talent, and she's just very authentic and, and natural, um, and a wonderful person just to hang with, even if you're not filming. So, um, God, I would say right up there, and I've been very lucky to work with a rostrum of extraordinary uh, female talent, and um, and I, I rank working with Jennifer as as as, uh, as best as it can get. Yeah, because she's mountaintopish, you know what I mean? Differing reasons for different co-stars having worked with prior, they bring their thing. That for different reasons I could answer in an interview that these people are, you know, for these reasons. But since we're in the midst of the NBA playoffs, right, the five people that are, that are talked about in the NBA and who will always be talked about as Mount Rushmore, and then maybe there's 20 great after that, but this is Mount Rushmore. Jen is absolutely in the epicenter of Mount Rushmore as it, Mount Rushmore as it pertains to Omari and having castmates, for sure. She's mountaintop, mm -hmm. yeah. Omari is fantastic in this. Joseph is incredible in this. Uh, Jennifer, I know you worked with Joseph's brother, Raph, in Made in Manhattan. The two of you were great in this. I feel like we need the Fines brothers to be a part of the JLo cinematic universe and get the three of you on camera together. They are, whether they like it or not. It's done. It's done. Uh, we had a great time working with Joe and Gael and, and Omari, everybody, and of course, uh, Paul, but also uh, Lucy you know, who played my daughter, who um, honestly was probably the most important role to cast. Mm. And uh, and finding her was uh, just like such a gift um, uh, because I really feel like the heart of the movie, that middle section of the movie, um, is, is, is what makes everything worthwhile when the two of us get together. And she teaches me, I teach her how to survive, but she teaches me how to love. I really enjoyed this. I mean, so much action, so many twists and turns, but also so much heart. Out of all my interviews, yeah. you are the first to say heart. And that really I mean, is the agree? movie to me, right? Yeah, I have to agree. I, I don't, I mean, because if title alone is telling, you know, I don't, I mean, 95.7% of mothers on planet Earth are nothing but heart. And then equally, let's get rid of that word nothing, are everything heart. Nothing but heart and everything heart. I mean, it's a very small percentage of, small percentage, excuse me, of moms who don't lead with heart. And so if the movie is telling and title, then this movie was so much heart. And everybody's character is obviously, I wouldn't say Joseph Fine's character has much heart, but, <laughs> but, but he's definitely, he's definitely got it in the sense that his heart is hurting that this woman who he doesn't know how to admit that he feels a way about has decided to exit stage left and no longer be around him. And so, yes, there is still heart. He is still driven by, by the emotions of that which are connected to heart. So I, I actually have to take that back and retract that statement a bit. It, it's all heart, but especially the mother and the relationship that, that she has with Lucy's character, her daughter because I'm such a nasty guy and it just comes <laughs> naturally, I guess. Um, but uh, I, you know, I didn't want to turn down the opportunity um, of firstly going back to Canada, which I love because we filmed part of uh, the film in Canada. Um, and I'd been there for four years with the handmaids. Um, but also to work with um, Jennifer and, uh, and Nikki Carroll, our director. And I just thought the team was really exciting 
And it was a fun, vigorous piece full of action. And as you say, ultimately full of great heart and a, a, a wonderful kind of um, quality to the narrative, which is uh, a, about a mother and a daughter. And so I thought that beautiful bond and discovery uh, combined with extraordinary action and going from one location to another and dusty deserts to snowy climbs. It just had such scope and fun. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.